I'm actually an ex-funeral director. I was 20-odd years in the funeral business. Um, what, I'm what? actually looking to start... Why is it so expensive, Mark? Because there's so much profit in it, I'm afraid to say. Oh, Lord. Um, the, the long and the short of it is, I, I'm now looking to set up a CIC, which is a community interest company, mm. um, to go back into the business, where I can actually then put plow the money back into the community rather than in, into profits. Um, mm. So that's my idea. The average cost of a funeral nowadays in the Portsmouth and the South East is around about £4,000. Yep. Just talk um, us through that, cost. mate. T talk us through that from the Go top. Go on. £4,000. Where does that go? £4,000. Well, you've got a cremation fee, which is around about £600. £600. You have to have two doctors sign a form to allow the funeral to take place. They're going to get around about £190. Well, for a signature, just a for minute. signing it. Yeah, two of them. You have to have two for a cremation. If it's a burial, you don't have to have any signatures because obviously uh, you can actually uh, you could take knock. the body out if you yeah. need to do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you can't do anything once a cremation is taking place. No. Uh, a minister, a minister is around about two hundred pound to officiate yeah. this ceremony for you. Uh, then you've got a coffin, so yeah. you're going to pay anything from. Four hundred pound up to ridiculous amounts of money for a coffin. How much would uh, a four hundred pound coffin cost wholesale? Eighty pound. <laughs> I'm being really honest here. I'm, I know I'm you're. more than likely to get in trouble. I'll get mm. in trouble from the funeral business, but uh, no, it it's, it's not like it's not like ice cream vans. There's, there's, there's not a secret mafia running everything. No, no, they, look, uh, to be really truthful, 13, 90, everything yeah. is about profit. Yeah. Everything is about profit. I've worked out that I could do a funeral for around about £1,400. That's the cremation fee, the doctors, a, a decent coffin and a hearse and limousine, which I'd hire in for £250 from somebody. Yeah, yeah. Um, that would be my basic cost that would be about £1,400. So if you then think everything else on top of that £1,400 yeah, is... There's obviously the bigger companies have overhead, so buildings, etc., etc., yeah. rates, and, and all the rest of it. But if, even if you took it to two thousand pound, you know, and so you would then still be making something, not a lot, but you'd be making something. Well, the co-op uh, reckon they can do what you've just described for fifteen hundred quid. Yeah, because, it seems yeah, about it seems that, reasonable, doesn't it? That is reasonable. The fifteen hundred pound would be, I think, you'll find that would be for a hearse only, and. May, maybe at a cremation time that's not good for everyone. So you, they might be able to do a deal. So the co-op now... Yeah, you're right. It's a direct well. cremation. So I don't know if you'd have much to do with the actual you, cremation process. You, no, but, the, but you, invite yeah, the you, you invite everyone to this... You invite everyone to the scattering. To the, That's the point. That's where that's, you do your mourning and your celebrating. Well, that's the difference. But you, you, that's like a pauper's funeral, because today in this country, we have pauper's funerals. We still, the council still pay for people's funerals, which, the, the, which whoever gets a contract in the local areas, yeah, will actually get their money out of it. <laughs>